with the Addy King. First, I will search for my black needle. I will start there with the yarn. Waist yarn, one in the front, one in the back. I'm doing the cast on right now. Very important to go slow to make sure you catch every needle. When you finish the first row, you open your yarn feeder and close it and then you just have to crank. For waist yarn, at least uh, try to make five rows. I did five rows, put my waist yarn in the middle, open the yarn feeder, put my waist yarn in the middle, had my working yarn, my project yarn, close the yarn feeder, put my counter to zero and I'm ready to go. So very important to watch if you don't lose any stitch during your crank and when you crank and your project touch the table it's time to turn it turn your work because if you keep it like this it's gonna do a tension on your stitches and you're in a big chance to losing some so I keep my hand like this during the the tube cranking like that just a little bit of tension not too much I will do that till I get 270 rows because that's the number of rows I did for that blanket if you want a taller one you could go 270 to 300 for a better uh, white wide blanket cut the yarn put your yarn in the middle come back with waist yarn open the yarn feeder put it very very same place of the project yarn and then you will crank it you will crank it for five rows and we will cast off with the waist yarn so I will cut the waist yarn at five rows and I will continue to crank you will not see properly because I was in front of the light with my head sorry for that see almost five rows I cut my yarn and I will just keep cranking and the yarn will go in it and it will automatically remove by itself you see you can't see it because my head was in front of light sorry so it removed itself from it go slowly and make sure you don't rip any stitches and then you will stretch your tube you will have to make four tube like this to do the blanket. Stretch. And those are the stitches that I have to pick for my closing. Put your tail on one side and you will start the other side when you put your work flat like this together. Hook is a number four. I start in the middle I grab one side and go on the other side or I could say I go up I go up grab it and then I go down grab one this is the way I like to close my tube if you have another way use it it will be okay too it's your project so I will keep like this and this video you really need to listen all the video before you start your blanket okay because if you just watch uh, here and here and there and at the end you try to do the blanket and then you come on the group and say oh my god I missed something I don't know how to how to how to but just the video is only 25 minutes it was uh, over an hour and a half I cut a lot to keep the the best information available and not too long so watch the video to make sure that you get it all so I'm almost I'm almost at the end it's very important to grab all the stitches because if you don't you're gonna have some drop stitch and you don't want it okay grab the other side And 
and this one. There. And you only close one side of each of your two. So you just close one side of your four of every four of your tube oh my god i'm not sure i have said it right uh, but you got four tube for this for this uh, blanket and you only close one side for now okay very important just one side of it remove the waist yarn i don't have the right one uh, no not this one sometimes it's not easy to find the right place oh, i got it just to pull and remove it. Pull, pull, pull. There, you, you see better like this. There, all gone. Well, out, I roll it in a little ball by hand for another project later. I keep all the the yarn for my uh, waist yarn. Turn. Usually you don't see that, but some people ask me to do a ball, so I show you how to do a ball of yarn. There. And now you check if you don't lose any stitches. That was from another tube. Because I have four tubes to work with. So I didn't lose any stitches. Now, time to get your tube together. So you start by both uh, tube have to be start the same side they were closing on it okay only where you close already so I grab two stitch I go and grab two stitch on the other side I go in the middle of the V maybe I could call it bar I grab two bar but not stitch I'm not sure. Anyway, you can see it, you understand. I know my fr my English is not that good, lo. but uh, at least I try. <laughs> Hope you understand. So I will go and grab all the way to a stitch from one side. Close. Do a stitch on the other side. And slip in it. There. It's a little bit long to do, but if you have the patient and to stay on the same column, it's very important. If you start to go uh, not straight, it's going to be all twisted and it's not going to be cute. So take your time. You're not in a rush. Think about the time you save by doing it with your machine. So you're good. I was working like for a week on this project between my kids and my work cooking and cleaning and everything so this is how I'll do it till the end okay I'm about halfway now now I'm just gonna close it before I forgot not close but attach those two tail together and I will hide it between the two layer. I'm not, I'm not sure if I show it, no, but I will hide it in the two layer, between the two layer. Well, come back on the sewing part. If you know how you call this sewing, just let me know. Because me, I do a lot of things, but I don't know how they, they call it. I don't keep that in mind, <laughs> sorry. So grab two. And the other side. Keep keep it that way. When you get to the ending ending part, you keep doing the two each side. And two. I'm holding it with my my finger to make sure that you see it but usually I work like my work is on flat on the table but 
because of the video I hold it with my hand make sure you see it right now I have the camera in front of my face <laughs> so I try to see what I'm doing I'm almost uh, doing it blind way <laughs> Okay, and you notice those two tubes are not the same length. The same... I, I'm i not sure why, but sometimes it happens. Maybe it's a counter, maybe it's me. I, I forgot it was 270 and I did a little bit more, but it's, it's okay. Don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix that. First, you got this thing now. The plastic... Uh, to keep your secure your stitch your live stitch I will put it there remove my hook so no stress for that so usually you don't do this part when you finish sewing your four tube together and you all start by the the part that it's uh, closing on it to go to the unclosing part okay so in this particular uh, part I should have my four tube attached together okay before I do that but because of the video I did it at two to save some time and make it sure that you understand it so I'm gonna do the closing for this one too a little bit faster because you already seen it on the beginning of the video closing is always the same thing with me I always do that uh, technique I have a video showing different technique to close if you want to go uh, on my channel and check it I think I got five different ways I'm not sure how to close a tube I will do a new one soon no, don't miss it and don't forget to subscribe a lot of viewers but not that much of subscribers I'm not sure if it's because a lot of us a lot a lot of uh, our members doesn't know how to do a YouTube account if it's that it's okay don't worry but if you have an account don't forget to subscribe please <laughs> okay I'm almost there and I will show you guys how to reduce the length of the tube with the uh, lifeline it's very easy and save a lot of trouble and frustration so that's why I said watch all the video first before you start because <laughs> if you use a uh, like scrap yarn and they're probably a different of with the, the length at the end because it's not the same thickness sometime each yarn so with the loom hook I will go grab my stitches sometimes it get very tight at the end of the, the rows so I pick my uh, loom hook and with the tail of my yarn I will close my rows so that's it remove your waist yarn now find the right place to pull sometimes it's not easy like this one no it's a different of uh, the starting part and the ending part of our tube when you start it's easy to remove and when you stop it's not always easy to remove uh, or the opposite I don't remember but I continue remove all the waste yarn very important The waste yarn is only there to guide you and to keep your your work to look more professional at the end. You could do without the uh, waste yarn, but it's a little bit uh, harder if you closing your tube on night. You can't see the stitches correctly. Like me, I'm always working on night because the kids are in bed and sleep, and nobody's home. Everybody's sleeping. Not not nobody's home, but I don't have any visitors when I do the a video. It's only on night so I keep this in mind that I have to grab this stitch at the end okay I will install now my lifeline use another another kind of uh, yarn a thinner one 
and a very important thing to be a different color very contrasting in this case I use the white because on the video white look very uh, good color to use easy to follow to do that I do need to use my yarn needle and don't worry I will take my time closer and you go with the tip of your needle you just grab half of every stitch and you stay on the same rows very important if you don't stay on the same rows it's not gonna work and you're gonna be upset ab about me <laughs> so stay on the same row my dog need to go out that's the only one I, I was I was not thinking about Oh, it's okay. Husband, go put it, put him out. Thank you, husband. So keep going. Stay on the same rows with your different color yarn. You continue to pick every half stitch. And remember, you only reduce your tube when you finish sewing four two together okay because if you don't you're gonna end up with different size of tube and it's not gonna work okay and you always go with the smallest tube you reduce all your tube equal to the smallest one okay so keep going and when i get to the other end of my white yarn i will attach it with a little bow easy to remove later almost there i really love that blanket it's keep me warm on my chair to watch my my movies all night i already already start looking some uh, christmas video and we only on in uh, September <laughs> that's my blanket to watch the TV on night so I continue like that and find the the tail to remove my waist, waist yarn when I get it I just have to remove the first row of the waist yarn that's the one who hold everything like this and then I would just have to pull on it and do a little ball of yarn again second ball of yarn during this video roll it around your finger and you turn it I did it very fast because it's the second time okay like this and you have to uh, my my yarn has has divide and it's stuck together sorry for that I just have to remove it carefully I don't want to lose anything okay that's my yellow yarn my life lifeline is fine okay every everything is out of the way now I will be able to pull on the yarn when I finish pulling on it it will be time to close cut my yarn and we'll join it together forgot about those little piece of yarn so one tail is in one side I go the opposite to close it and when you have your four tube you you start closing it with the smallest tube of your blanket from it you start with the smallest part because if you start another way you end up with not equal so I grab, whoops, sorry, grab each, each stitch 
one by one very important for those blanket if you want to crochet around it it's very great but me I just it was only for me so I decided to just put some French little uh, there oops yeah almost at the end to remove the live line it's very easy you just have to pull slowly on it on the the white yarn there take my tail and close this tube now I will remove with the tip of my loom hook remove all the lifeline I have a um, loom hook closer to me all the time. It's easier. So time to remove my plastic. Make sure I don't lose any stitches. I will remove it and put my crochet back and attach it to the other two so they join together cut the yarn and close it with that tail and I will attach it with the other tail that is like just there so it's solid it's secure and you hide it inside your two layer of tube it's very easy the yarn needle I use is uh, if you go on uh, a large store, you could find it. It's called a uh, wool needle and it's pack of three. You got the small, medium, and large. I always use the medium one, the one you see. It's very easy to. Now, how to switch your blanket to a poncho? Simple. You turn it this side. And the other side like this to make a triangle fold it over the top and then you attach it with your yarn needle but you only grab with the tip just a little bit just stitch after stitch like this make sure you don't stretch it because you need to be on the same panel so it's easy for this one because the color are different. Keep going like this. It's very easy. There. As you could see, I I continue my blanket video and switch that to a bla uh, not a blanket but a poncho arrive at the end right like this and then you will s change your sewing by doing some uh, mattress stitch fold it like this you see your stitches correctly and you have to stay on the same column of stitch like when you did your row together not your row your panel together to together your tube together oh my god and you just sew it one side you grab two stitch or two bar and you go on the other side and grab two and you keep doing this you get it the way you like 
if you use the 270 rows pattern you will stop before and if you use uh, 300 rows for taller person you could just go a little bit farther on your sewing for this one I think it was a uh, 33 centimeter 13 inches that I sew don't worry I will pull on the yarn after and the stitch it, stitches will be eyed just pull on the, the yarn and that's it you arrive at the end you do a double knot and voila you're done with your poncho if you'd like to continue and add some French's French's uh, and French's frange uh, you could do it I will show you in two or three seconds so you could see 13 inches 33 centimeter take every thickness okay so I have attached all my four tube close both side of my four tube four tubes now I do the franches I'm I'm sure I don't pronounce it right but in, in French it's frange so I think you understand so I decide to do it 28 centimeter long and I have some blue and purple and some yellow I'm gonna mix them together I think it took me like six balls to do this uh, project I think yeah and I, I, I had a little bit left so I decided decide to finishing with this I'm very happy that you're following me with this video I'm gonna leave like five stitches between each one or uh, at least like at least uh, an inch but if you want to put it closer it's your work you decide what you want me I'm just doing a suggestion I do what I like so when you do it at home you do the way you like it Almost finish. Three, four, five. And put my third one. It's going to be like five or six per tube for the four, four tube wide. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe.